Alrighty, welcome everyone to some more Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, uh, Skill the Dying Edition. Before we start, I just want to talk about this real quick, real, real quick, real quick. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Come on, where's my... Where's the uh, GitHub? There we go. GitHub. Uh, uh, comments. And... Two ones here. Uh, this and this one. So, uh, Killer Clowns have been remade. And this is what they've said. I'm not going to read it out loud because that's a very long period of time. But, basically, now they no longer have... Um, uh, they no longer have their, like, original, like... Chaos branded attack, uh, and they don't blink around anymore. I think, I'm, I, I think I don't know if they actually still blink around. I haven't seen them yet, uh, but now they have a club which is up to plus twelve. And this this one always struck me as weird. Gamma, come on, man! A club is also a funny weapon. You can't help but laugh when getting hit with a plus twelve club. Ha ha! -ha. It's plus twelve. That's why it's funny. Um, but. Yeah, it has a random brand, but sometimes it has chaos and distortion, which is kind of bad. But, um, they were also given this ability, which is a line of sight range ability, throwing a damaging projectile that inflicts a non-resistible effect, which includes an inability to drink vertigo, which I believe, uh, I'm looking at this right, is like minus, uh... Uh, decreased evade, increased spell failure, and decreased accuracy. So that. <sighs> Stat drain, which is basically nothing. But then silence, fire vulnerability, and irresistible polymorph. This polymorph can only be Bat Hog and Wisp. But all of these remove your armor. And they also give you fire involved and silence and whatnot. There is no cooldown for this. But there is a low chance of it happening. Probably something like this, the Priest Smite. Uh, set up. Each one is about 20%, except for fire and polymorph, which is 12 and 8%. Now, I haven't played this yet, but it does say that the Quicksilver Damage Dragon, the damage is the same as the Quicksilver Dragon's Breath, 3d20, which is pretty high. Um, they have a low weight for using their new ability, about as much as a quarter as much as the Quicksilver Dragon of their breath, which is, I would say, probably like one in every eight turns. Or one in every six turns, let's say. Like, as a rough eyeball. So those have changed. Uh, how do I feel about it right now? I, given how much of a clusterfuck Zod 5 is, I am pretty annoyed by this. Zod 5 is already, like, as of last game, I have seen the hellhole that is Zot 5 with the dispersal traps. Adding on top of that silence, the ability to silence someone, polymorph them, all that shit. I have absolutely no idea how weaker characters are supposed to fucking finish this place. Because you're basically fucked if you go into that place, get dispersed, get silenced, and then you're dead. There's literally nothing you can do. Like that, and that's not even like a rare occurrence if this dispersal trap is real life. Like if this is if you actually are in line of sight, I don't think you even need to be in line of sight to dispersal trap. To be honest, I think it just triggers anywhere. Cause I don't even remember seeing the dispersal trap in my last one. I might be wrong though, but basically, the probability of you getting fucking obliterated now is actually kind of high. Um, this is gonna be bullshit. I can already tell. I had to fight four killer clowns in Lost Up Five, and now they're upgraded to effectively like. They're basically cursed to level danger, which means you're not allowed to fight them when other things are on the screen. On top of that, Polymorph means that if there's anything near you that hits hard, like, say, an Orb Guardian, or four Orb Guardians, or an Ancient Lich, or... No, not an Ancient Lich, sorry. Uh, a Draconian pack, um, get fucked, you. Or, you know, Orb of Fire, sure, 12% chance. Or, you know, Silence, no drinking potions, whatever. Basically, I am not happy with the way this is yet, but I'm going to reserve judgment for when it happens, uh, for when I actually see it, because it just looks like a perfect storm of shit that's going to be really fucking bad for this character, uh, for like all characters. Um, but you know, the devs have been known to not really 
give a shit about like things that are really annoying so you know we'll see how things go uh, maybe it's balanced I highly doubt it but you know e either it's gonna be like the fucking worst thing ever or it's gonna be completely irrelevant one of the two uh, I hope it's the latter definitely but yeah well again I'll reserve judgment but it's not looking good it's not looking good uh, all right so last game we picked up the troll of the armor and we saw a couple of things we got a couple of weapons got a plus two dagger and all that good stuff we picked up Okawaru because he was on D2, and I just had to pick him up. And we picked up plus 10 protection, which is pretty crazy, uh, and a manual bows for some reason, which we're not going to use. Now, uh, I also killed Snorg somehow with a bunch of Carrera Needles, and I'm going to go ahead and put that on now. And that literally didn't change my resistances. But what it does give is an extra pip, uh, uh, sorry, a bit of extra regen, which is really good for this character. It doubles our regen, pretty much. Uh, I don't know how much it costs if I'm full. Let me just check. So if I'm full, I actually regen 0.83 per turn. Wait, hang on. How does this work? I'm in the full category. Okay, so I, I regen as much as I'm going to regen. I'm a fully... I'm, even at fully alive, I don't think it does anything there. Okay, yeah. So right now I'm like basically... Oh, right. Oh, yep. Totally forgot about that. Whoops. Uh, yeah, okay. So there were wipes on the other side of that screen. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Oh, we also picked up hexes because we want confusing touch. That's right. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. I'm going to go ahead and step all these whites because I don't want to have to fight them with Josephine on top. Um, throw a career needle, perhaps. If I can get some. Yep. And then throw a sleep needle, just in case, you know. Heroism. Whoa. Okay, calm down there, Josephine. You... You've shown me what you can do. There's no need for you to be like that. All right, there we go. Kill the... It's all good. Okay, so... I think at this point, I'm just going to drop the stupid rocks and tomahawks. I'm too lazy to keep them on while I have the, uh... The blowgun. Because it's really annoying to have to keep swapping back and forth between the ammo types. Rather just only have needles. I'm sure there's a way to, like, automatically have it so you can't quiver rocks and stuff while you have a blowgun on. But, eh... Eh, it's too much work, you know what I mean? It's easier to just drop it, you know? Sometimes it really be like that. Okay, there's a black mamba here. Unfortunately, I can't poison it because it's a snake, which is apparently a sign that it's immune to that kind of deal. <sighs> what I can do, though, is increase this short sword and use it to kill stuff with heroism. Ooh, unless this dagger is really good. No, it's not. Dagger speed is okay, but... It decreases damage, uh, which means, like, it decreases your damage at the cost of, sorry, it gives you better speed, like, better attack speed, but it costs damage, so it's not really worth it, kind of, on a low base damage weapon. On a high base damage weapon, like, say, a broad axe, it's fucking insane. On a shitty weapon like a dagger, it's pretty bad. Okay, so we got shafted, but we also found an ice cave. I'm sort of happy to go in here, I don't really feel like it's a good idea necessarily but I'm gonna do it anyway I'm gonna take a five extra AC for cold resistance I'm honestly not even sure if that's like worth my time anymore I could just like go undead I guess which means sitting here and waiting for like 4,000 turns while I attempt to get the fucking cold resistance from being undead <sighs> Again, the inability to finely tune your satiation level is a little bit annoying. It's a very crude mechanism. Player's only given a very little bit of agency over it. But, whatever. Okay, well, I guess pummeling this thing constantly isn't going to help, so I'm just going to run away. Statues don't re uh, regen, so it's kind of good for me to take the fight in multiple parts. I don't even have to heroism, actually. I can just kind of stand here and chill out. Get it? Because we're in the ice cave? <sighs> it's funny. See, I have the same level of humor as Gamma Funk, apparently. Well, actually, no. I'm not laughing at the fact that this thing is throwing ice clouds at me. Ow! That fucking icicle, man. Holy shit, that was painful. I assumed that was the icicle. Yeah, it was an icicle. Ow! That was so bad. Okay, anyway, uh, I'm just gonna sit here and rest till I'm thirsty. Now I should get cold resistance. Awesome. 
if I stay undead, I'll be completely cold uh, I'll be given another pip of cold resist, but I think that's not necessary. Also, I just realized I should probably use the print of protection here um, when I'm fighting, like, yaks and stuff, because those didn't seem to be very good. And I'm going to use Confusing Touch, which now works with weapons, to kind of just make sure that I don't die. Oh, sorry, I, I, it, it'll mitigate the damage, is what I'm trying to say here. Just confusing things over and over again. I also get free stabs, because I have good, uh, good stealth and good long blades, which are two things that stabs will scale off. I am using a weapon that isn't a dagger, but that's fine. A weapon with a, like, stabbing with a dagger does a lot of damage, whereas stabbing with a non-dagger does, you know, a decent amount, but not as much. Uh, but despite that, I'm still happy to go with it, just because I want to have the ability to brawl stuff. I always consider the non-short sword daggers, sorry, the non-dagger short swords to be good for, like, combat, whereas the dagger is good for stabbing, so, you know, whichever one you want to use, you use. Uh, I'm gonna go Dex now. No, actually, I'm gonna go Int. I'm gonna start spell casting pretty soon, probably, uh, by summoning and such. So I want to most likely be, you know, training up this, like, sorry, keeping my armor low and keeping my my hexes on my magic training high. And that means I need to want. Holy crap! My brain is not working right now. I want Int because I'm gonna cast spells. Jesus! Why am I saying all these words? Jeez! Sorry about that. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Must be the delus delusions coming from pain. My back is still not fixed yet. It's starting to get there, but you know, not quite. Also, at some point, uh, you'll notice that my HP goes up randomly. I have vampiricism. I don't know how to really proc it or how much it works, but yeah, it does that sometimes. I just kind of have like shit vamp. It, it works, but like I don't know how much it works, and it's not reliable in the slightest. But you know, you can sometimes notice it, which is cool. Like, right there. I have no idea. I think I, like, sucked it up. I bite him. Yeah, I drew his blood. Okay, fair enough. When do I get to shoot laser beams out of my eyes? No, that'd be useless in this game. Never mind. Alright, here's the frost giant. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and phantom mirror him to create my own frost giant. And then I'm gonna agility and try to confuse his ass. Oh god, okay. Well, this is not gonna go well for me. Let me throw Ice Blast at him. <gasps> I confused him. I killed him. Holy shit, I killed him. Wow, that was scary. I killed him, though. I got him. I got the Book of Invisibility, which is insane for this character. Holy shit, we're so lucky. Sorry, did I say Book of Invisibility? Yeah, it basically is Book of Invisibility. Book of uh, Wizardry. Wow, that's incredible. This character is a full-blown mage now. Okay, that's really, really good. That's that's actually absurd. I'm going to transfer spell casting now. I need to get my magic up real quick. Because this character just became a full-blown enchanter. Congratulations, kid. You are now a master of your art. Okay, let me switch to Confuse to D as well. Just because I'm going to start spell casting like a motherfucker now. Okay, never mind. Maybe we just die here. I forgot that I was not Arpoys until I actually cast my... Uh, until I become undead. So, whoops. That's fine, though. Now we're undead. Or oh, now we're, like, Arpoys. Uh, I'm gonna put the amulet on. Even if it's Faith, that's kind of good anyway. Faith is fine, I think. It'll just speed up my ability to uh, cast... Or oh, get gifts, and it'll also give me better... Uh... What, you, uh, what am I trying to say here? It, it'll give me better uh, heroism slash uh, finesse, I guess, because I can just use it pretty much all the time. Uh, faith amulets make your god abilities pretty much free, which is good. I, I would say that, like, depending on the god, it can be better than even a regen amulet or, like, a deflection amulet or something. So, you know, if you're using it right, you'll find that it's very, very powerful. Okay, we got another book. That's not as relevant, though. Okay, kill these hell rats. Just kind of stand in the corner here. Use Confusing Touch, of course, to continue to confuse stuff. I could use Confuse, but, you know, Confusing Touch works better. 
I think confusing touch, uh... Alright, this fight's taking a long time. I think confusing touch actually checks based on hit dice. Not, uh... Not MR. Meaning that there's no, like... Ah, how do I explain this? Um, let me, let me, I think it's just easy to just look it up, I, I guess. So, it says, level 1 hexa spell that made your hands glow red, you're an That's out of date. Holy shit, that is completely out of date. Wow. Nice one, Learn DB, if that is your real name. Oops. Confusing touch 2. Eh, my back cuts. Non-living monsters, blah, 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 blah. If, um, if the monster's great to hit dice is greater than or equal to random 20 times 24, nothing happens. Otherwise it gets confused. If it doesn't get confused, the status doesn't end. Look, that doesn't... Look, okay, let's just let's just put that away. Because apparently Learn DB is just broken there. Like, if, when it comes to fucking confusing touch, just don't trust Learn DB. I don't know what the hell it's trying to say here. Um, Alright, whatever. Why, why did it mention my ring of protection? Did that... Is that something new? Did I accidentally put... What? Okay, that was weird. Uh... Hmm. Okay, things are looking good so far. I want to get Blink, though. Probably going to put that on, like, Shift-B at some point. But for the time being, that's fine. Ring of Flight, drop that. Oh, also, I picked up this weapon. Plus five anti-magic. It's pretty cool, but I don't want anti-magic right now. I actually kind of need magic, because I am going to be a caster soon. Very slowly. It's not very often that you'll see me, like, have a full-blown melee character, and then consciously go for magic. So, this is a very rare opportunity. Oh, they changed the dispersal trap icon to not look like an inverted and red version of the teleport trap. That's pretty cool, I guess. Um... Alright. Still looks wonky as fuck, though, to be honest. Let me go look at it again. I don't... That looks really weird. It's something about the purple... Oh, sorry. It's something about the really light pink in the middle, and the fact that it just looks really low res. I don't know how to explain it. It's like... It looks very photoshopped, if that makes any sense. I don't know if that's actually what it is, but, you know, that's what I'll say it is. Glowing Quick Blade. That's really cool. Um, that could become a very powerful weapon if I get a brand on it. Right now, it's okay, but I don't know. I kind of don't want to use a dagger of nothing when I already have a weapon of something. Obviously, the Quick Blade is a really strong... A really strong short blade because it can strike at 0.3 uh, attack speed, which makes it attack almost four times every turn. Or three times every turn, sorry. But, you know, I kind of want to use this weapon just because I think it'll hurt more right now. I mean, th the base damage is like of this weapon is six. The base damage of Quick Blade is 5, so, you know, it'll do more damage, of course, because it's just hitting more, but against lower AC enemies, it'll do less. Oh, sorry, higher AC enemies, it'll do slightly less, and given that it has no brand, it might just not be as good in general. Do I have a brand weapon scroll? No, I do not. Fair enough. That's pretty rare. Okay, I'm just going to go for the Urug stab. Okay, that didn't work. Uh, let's finesse here. And sleep this dumb. Oh, you bitch. You fucker. Oh my god, he woke up. That was. That was unfortunate for us. Okay, we got a lot of career on him though. So if we head back to the same spot. He should be dead. Yep. <laughs> Just killed off screen. Just completely wrecked. Goodbye. Even with the distortion hand. Uh, ha uh, great mace. Not great mace. Um. The fuck am I trying to say? Uh, evening star. There we go. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Uh, my brain's just not working. Oh, hat. Hey, I wear those. Oh no, I don't. I'm a helmet-only person. Never mind. Okay. Well, this character is about to get real broken. Uh, you can see here that my invisibility is only at 22% fail, meaning it's very close to just being completely broken. Scarf of temperature is amazing for this character. It just gives me free resistances, and that's awesome. I'm going to cast Invis here, because spiders can't see invisible. Fun fact. And I'm going to go ahead and kill all these lads myself. Kill, kill, kill. Nice and easy. Alright, quaff a uh, blood potion to get myself back up to normal, I guess. See, again, I would love to stay invisible, but the game is fucking dumb, and it's not going to let me do that. So I'm just going to have to go and be happy with the fact that I can go sort of to, uh, 
to like a live status. I'd rather be thirsty all the time, you know, just like in real life. Uh, ladies, hit that dial, you know, men too, whatever, whatever you want. Subscribe to my Patreon. That's got my Tinder profile. I actually don't have a Tinder actually. Should I get one? I don't know. I don't think so. I feel like I'm too lazy to do that. It's, it sounds like a lot of work. Someone was like talking about how they use Tinder. I'm like, fuck man. I could not be fucked to do any things that any of the things that you're doing right now. It's like, fuck. Holy shit. That's a lot of work. I'm like, ah, nah. I'll just stay and play video games at home. <laughs> what a fucking loser demise. Uh, Alright, let's see. So, right now our armor is not great. Our armor's okay, I think. We have a decent amount of stuff. I kind of want a weapon, sort of. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a quick blade. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go get armor instead. Normally I would go for a weapon, but because I already have a quick blade, I'm, like, I'm hesitant to get another one, pretty much. That's a really good one. Okay, cool. Uh, minus 5 strength, but RF plus is really good. In plus 2 is decent as well. So I'm happy with that. Okay, invis just lets me kill. Kirk, or Kirk, Cursei, Kirk. Whatever the fuck her name is, who cares? You know what I'm talking about, right? Like, this character, this dumb lady. You know, just kill her with heroism finesse. You know what I mean? Don't even worry about it. It's fine. See, there's a part of me that, like, almost knows the right pronunciation, but it's constantly being shut off by the fact that I don't want to get it wrong anyway, so I'm like, eh. I'll just keep saying all of them, you know? It's the ultimate option select. One of them is correct. Uh, Curse? Curse? Cursor? Cursor? It's the only character I, I still don't know. It's like, I like how it, I literally haven't known her name for the, I think, since the Hillock, uh, Hillock Fighter video, which if you old, old, old school people would know, was the literal first series of this channel. Um, so even since then I had no idea what the fuck I was doing. Also, hey, wow, triple slot, cool. The Swamp Worm corpse doesn't have any blood. Well, fuck you too, buddy. God damn it. Why do you even exist if you don't have blood for me to feed on? Jeez. What the hell? That's inconsiderate. Alright, that's fine. Anyway. Let me kill this stupid bog body. Uh, Mr. Eel. Calm down, dude. Your attacks are meaningless on me. One could even say useless. I'm just scattering it in, you know what I mean? Just scattering it in. One person understands what that means. One person exactly. Um, and that's only because I told them recently. Don't worry if you don't know what that means, because that's just like, a, it's it's a very, very well-hidden pun. It's not actually a pun. No, okay, never mind. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give up on that. Uh, one person will get it, and then they'll look at the comments of the first video, and then there'll be like a secret ARG, alternate, real, alternate reality game, you know what I mean? And at the very end, just like in Payday, it'll be connected to the Illuminati. Ah, oh, fuck, another shaft. God damn it. That's two shafts in one video, man. Come on. That's gross. There's too many shafts in this game. You know what I mean? It's a real sausage fest. You know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, fuck me. Ah, oh, it's this stupid fucking vault. Yeah, nice. Holy shit, look how many fucking... <laughs> These leeches are so disgusting. Ah, oh, great. Another Hydra. Nice. There's literally no F me to run, is there? This is layer 6. Come on, give me a little bit of a thing. Come on, where's... Did I fall down, like, three sh things or something? No, I was on level 5 already, apparently. What the fuck? Where are my upstairs? Holy shit, dude. What is this right now? Ugh. What is happening? Can you see invisible? No, you cannot. Oh, fuck, it doesn't matter. Holy shit. Okay, running away. No need to get so antsy on me. Stab, stab, stab. Yes. That's a Moth of Wrath. Well, it was good knowing you all. Never mind. Kill the Moth of Wrath. Awesome. Why is there a Moth of Wrath on this floor? That makes no sense. It's that fucking vault, isn't it? This fucking broken-ass vault with, like, infinity leeches, hookshotting worms, and a torpor snail. Like, what the fuck, man? Go invisible. Oh, please don't. Please don't surround me. Come on, stop fighting me, Wyvern. Just let me leave. Holy shit, you too? God damn it, guys. Come on. I'm just trying to run away and get upstairs. Is that so much to ask? Oh my fucking god, the hookshot worm. 
Makes his lovely appearance. Fuck you, video game. What the hell is this shit? Go invisible again. Whatever. Kill this guy. Grab me a weapon. Thanks. Short sort of freezing. Actually, that's... Hmm. Hmm. Eh, nah. I don't really care about it. I mean, freezing technically is good against this setup. Uh, against these, uh, lair enemies because... Oh, wow, I just killed that. Okay, cool. Butcher. I've never had this before. Look, it's me, Gerald of Meow. I'm the Witcher. I'm the Witcher. Invisibility is at 7%. Let's turn that shit off. Uh, let's get translocations up to 3. Try to get my blink failure down. Um, anything else I want to learn? Kind of want Dazzling Spray. Kind of want Summon Lightning Spire. Kind of don't care enough, to be honest, though. Nah, we'll just leave it. Yeah. Sounds like a good strat. Did you see that? Wait, what? Hang on, wait, what? Hang on. Oh, the electric eel flops around on dry land. What the fuck was that? That was weird. I didn't even know they could do that. Alright, look at this invis. Look, I just hold tab. I can't, I can't die. So, invis stabs are amazing because you can just chain them forever. And also, most things in this game can't see invis in the early game. So you're basically just a god when it comes to killing stuff uh, with invisibility. It's the very reason why I'm willing to pick up all these spells. At first I was like, okay, light spell support's pretty nice, I guess. I can eventually transition away, but no, this is incredible. Plus two buckler of protection, that's really good as well. Uh, I'm gonna turn dodging off for a bit, turn shields up to four hopefully, get a little bit more of that extra defense. We have a lot of AC for a character out uh, of our, like, disposition, I guess. I don't know how to call it. We shouldn't be this tanky, basically, but we are very tanky. 10 extra AC. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Shit. Let me go invisible real quick and just kill everything in one hit. Nice. Look at this damage, though. Like, there is no way that a character should ever be able to handle this many leeches at this level, but we're fucking broken, so it doesn't matter. Like, this vault is totally bullshit. On any other character, we'd probably be dead already. Or we'd, like, we'd have no chance of clearing this unless we did it one by one with, like, consumables and everything. But I have... I have invisibility, so who cares? Completely breaks the game. Has no... No issues of consent or nothing. Just don't even worry about it. It's fine. Look at this. Stab, stab, stab. I think invisibility also increases, like, stealth. I'm not sure, though. I don't actually know how that works, but, you know. I'll just pretend I do. And if I believe hard enough, I actually will have enough. I will be able to know these kind of things. Go invisible again. Invisibility doesn't work if you're standing on water, so just be careful about that. But you can still stab a shitload of stuff, and it's really, really strong. Uh, let me walk back into this corner here just to calm down. The Blink Frog is a fairly annoying opponent, so... And they come in packs, so I'm trying to, like, be a little cautious, and then... I'll throw all that caution to the wind immediately, because, you know, why not? Alright, there's another leech. Man, invisibility really made short work of this vault. Like, this should be a nightmare vault to ever... Like, they made this vault harder by adding more tulpa snails, buffing the, like, these uh, swamp worms, and then adding leeches on top. And somehow I'm still coming out on top of that. That's, like, crazy. Okay, cool. Nice cheeky confuse. Easy kill, confuses leech too. Heal up and continue. I have a surprisingly high amount of uh, hexes. I normally don't get 15, but this was a rare occasion as I was trying to get myself invisibility. Okay, I'm not our poise right now, meaning that Hornet might be able to paralyze me. But that's okay, because can't do shit when he's confused. Got him. 27 potions. Oh my god, another vault. Okay, fair enough. This is the, uh, like the spider plus guardian serpent vault. Don't know what it's supposed to represent, but, you know, can kill them all if you need to. Another book. This one has more pretty much useless spells. Cause Fear is not bad, though. I will pick up Cause Fear. I think for, like, some of the easier fights, I can just scare stuff away if, if I need to. Which is quite helpful. 
All right, I'm now gray contaminated, which is still harmless, but I definitely should be resting this off. There's a bunch of different contamination levels. Once you get higher, once you get to yellow or above, you have a chance of malmutating every time it goes down a, mal uh, a mutation level. Uh, on top of that, if I am contaminated enough, I'll start glowing, meaning that it cancels out my invisibility. So, you know, invisibility level is also a thing that you need to kind of train, or you need to manage, sorry, not train. I'm going to go back to training some more stealth, and I'm actually going to start, like, heavily investing in it. Stealth is really, really, really good for a character. I'm going to go invisible again. Again, worrying a little bit about con the contamination, but at the same time, you know, sometimes you just got to push on. Hit the confusing touch on the Guardian Serpent while I kill everything else. There we go. Get a short sword of venom. That's incredible. That's a really good weapon for this character. Um, because... Venom will just continuously apply to all the enemies, and I can do some really nice, like, kiting things. It basically means I don't need the blowgun anymore, effectively. Or at the very least, I don't need these poison needles, nor these needles of sleeping. I can just use the career needles now, when I need to slow something at range. Um, but yeah, the Venom weapon is incredible because not only is it highly enchanted compared to the other one, the, the short sword, but Venom is a really great brand to stack with a fast weapon like a short sword. A flaming weapon, on the other hand, only provides 25% extra base damage, which is, uh, sorry, 25% extra damage in general, which is not amazing, because on a short sword you obviously have very little in the way of actual regen. Okay, so I'm in the water, but if I fly and I go in while I'm invisible, I will no longer be visible to the opponents. Uh, so I can just freely stab these guys to death. Nice. Another triple sword. Wow, that's two triple swords I have in this game. Very unusual for a character to have two triple swords at this stage in the game. Obviously, I will never use them, but, you know, it's kind of cool to see. Now, I kind of want to also pick up these Swamp Dragon Scales, because these things... Uh, this is a pretty good mix of, like, armor and evade. Uh, but at the same time, I'm kind of okay with Troll of Their Armor as well. Like, those two are kind of in the area of what I want. So I'm going to just hold on to both of them for now. I think I can drop the fire resistance leather now, and I'm going to drop all these other extra uh, extraneous weapons. Um, I don't think I need the int. I'm never going to use it over 5 protection, like honestly. Uh, I'm going to ID some more potions. Lignification can't be used, I'm pretty sure, but I think I can if I'm alive. I'm just not sure exactly. And I'll continue on with the dungeon. Uh, awesome. This character has flown by so fast. I can't believe it's already 32 minutes in. Uh, another buckler, but I'm pretty sure protection is the best I'm going to get. So I'm just going to not buy it. Save my money. Save it for a rainy day, you know what I mean? Uh, confuse the hungry ghost, because, you know, why not? Kill these guys. Like, the, the good thing about the poison weapon is that now I don't have to worry about enemies anymore. Like, I don't have to constantly be trying to confuse them. I can just kind of fight them if I need to. It's pretty nice. I mean, I could obviously fight some of the enemies before, but now I'm just like fully confident in my ability to kill everything without having to, uh, without having to hex up. See, this really annoys me because these potions of blood, I have 47 right now, but in one part's time, I'm actually going to be starved for it when I go to swamp. It, it like actually is annoying that this is the way things are. It's like, why? Why, why must I be unable to like, safeguard my pots, put them in a cooler or something, I don't know. It's just kind of dumb, I don't know. Alright, kill this ugly thing. Boom. Shields for, tu uh, for my, sorry, target for shield is gone, so I can now train more dodging. I'll probably train dodging up to like 12 or something, um, keeping an eye out, given that I have only 17 of 8. Shields of protection, eh, no thank you. Uh, and I'll probably then switch over to a little bit of armor training. Leather armor, uh, troll leather armor doesn't really give that much armor, but, you know, a bit of training won't hurt. Especially if I intend to go up to something like Fire Dragon or Swamp Dragon. Ooh, another scroll of acquirement. That's definitely going to be armor again. I think my weapon is great right now. Oh, wow, yeah, cr crystal plate armor. Wow, wow yeah, yeah, th thanks. Alright. On any other character, I would have been like, okay, th let's try to make this work. On this character, it's like, why? <laughs> or any, on any melee character, sorry. Any other character of Okawara would have been over the moon to get a plus one 
plate armor or crystal plate armor but now it's like eh I'd rather not oh some rations cool there's a lot of rations in this game just kind of letting them all off four-headed hydra gonna go ahead and confuse him again 15 15 uh, hexes really makes this character quite powerful because I can just kind of confuse stuff that I normally wouldn't be able to touch or it would be annoying to do so uh, let's Ice Blast here, just to kill these Hellhounds. I don't intend to go over there, but even if I did, I don't want to get fireballed by those Hellhounds, so... You know, might as well just spend a couple of things to kill them. I could have confused them instead, that actually would have been better. Have them drown in the lava, for free. But eh, whatever. Consumables are meant to be used, just use them. Why not? Oh, cool, the vamp thing is actually pretty good. I've been noticing it quite a lot. Uh, it's it's not as good as my club healing, but damn, it's it's getting there. Like it's actually very noticeable, which is strange. Plus two helmet or a plus one helmet. Only difference is this tile looks a little broken. I look like a defect from uh, Thingo from Slow the Spire, but I don't know what that little yellow thing on the top is. It looks like the tile is broken. Looking closely, it looks a bit like a halo, but I don't really understand why that's there. Anyway, oh gosh, there's a Catoblopus here. Um, can you see invisible, my friend? No, you can't. Alright, well, you lose then. <laughs> Goodbye. I like how enemies can just be completely invalidated through the one mechanic. Don't tell the devs, though, because they'll probably remove invis, to be honest. They already removed it from the Enchanted book, which, honestly, in my opinion, is totally fair. Like, it's one of the few nurse where I'm like, yup, that shit is broken. It should not be in the in the Enchanted Starting Book. It's basically a free win for the entirety of the early game. Um, it's the equivalent of giving haste in a starting book, which actually was a thing for a while. Uh, also, I kind of want to test out how much stealth I have. So I have four from the top stealth with no invis, and then with invis I have three from the top. So it actually does give me a boost, interesting. I mean, it makes sense. Like, invisibility should give you a boost uh, in stealth, but... Oh wait, no, 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 wait, no, 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 that's because I'm... I'm or was that because I was thirsty? It might have been because I was thirsty. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Another scarf. Hmm. Probably not going to be as good as resistance. But I'll look at it anyway. Oh, it's another one. A oh, red scarf or blue scarf? I like the blue scarf better. I think it was snazzier. Red scarf is okay, but... You know, prefer the blue one. Personally. When I was a, a young child, I used to play Pokemon Ruby... And uh, I was always sad because my, my cousin had Pokemon Sapphire. And I was like, <gasps> I like Sapphire. But I still played Pokemon Ruby. And god, I love that game. That was like the best game ever. Um, I don't know what that had to do with the red and blue sky. Oh yeah, wait, no, it was red and blue. It's like, yeah, you know, it, it was cool. But I really wish I had blue scarves. Or blue stuff, I guess. Actually, do I even think that now? Maybe not. Maybe I actually kind of prefer the Ruby, because I've just played it so much. I finished that game like a motherfucker, by the way. Uh, more strength is actually pretty good here, I think. Again, I kind of want to keep the strength up, just because I want to go up to Swamp Dragon Armor, which I think has... Oh, it's only got an encumbrance rating of 7. Whoops. And I only really need 7 to... I think someone made up a rule at some point where it was like... Your armor has to be equal, your encumbrance rating should be about equal to your strength rating for the encumbrance to be, like, minimized or something. I don't know if that's real. That might not be real life. But, you know, think about it, I guess. I don't know. <sighs> Whatever, that rule of thumb is dumb. If anyone actually has a real rule of thumb for how much strength you need to wear an armor, let me know. All I need is, all I know, really, is that you need 23 to get, um... You should have 23 strength to use gold dragon armor, and you should have 27 strength to use crystal plate armor. Having said that, very few people actually care enough to, like, check how much strength they have. And I'm not one of those people. I don't really care. I think if I was optimizing, though, I probably would have picked intelligence instead. Because I feel like that's more important. But, eh, whatever. You know, it doesn't it doesn't matter. It's all good. It's all the same shit, anyway. Alright, let's go invis stabbing. Oh, yeah, that's a nice... That's a nice set of stabs. So Invis is a pretty low... No, it's pretty high spell there. I'm surprised it lost so little. Uh, so short. Or it is so short, sorry. It's kind of confusing. Normally it's 
Shouldn't it be a bit longer than this? Oh, whatever. Let's go invis. Again. Kill the wizards first, because they're annoying. They might be able to banish me, so I want to kill them immediately if I can. Now there's a bunch of uh, vault guards. It's fine, though. We'll just run away from them. Confuse one of them. Kill him. Confuse this one, too. Kill him. And man, that draining is crazy. Holy crap. That was actually very solid. Oof. A dagger of electrocution. Now this weapon is crazy. This thing lets me stab, but it also lets me do a lot of damage with electrocution. So I think I'm going to use this instead. Can you see invisible Roxanne? Question mark. Nope, you're a fucking idiot, aren't you? Can't see invisible, dummy. How are you going to even hit me? You can't even see invis. There you go. Free kill. And uh, Aquara was happy with that kill because it was very dangerous. I'm going to go invisible here just to stab these slimes. Could be pretty dangerous, but you know, that's fine. Alright, I'm going to leave it here because I don't want the file size to be too big. It's been 40 minutes after all. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. And I will see you all um, tomorrow. What, what day is it? It's Thursday tomorrow? Oh, it's Wednesday tomorrow. Holy shit, I'm losing track of days. Oh, man. Is it really Tuesday already? Holy crap. Okay, uh, one thing I will say is that I might be away on Saturday this time around. I don't know if I'm going to be online because I'm at a local event. But uh, I'll try to get home. But I might not be able to stream. I don't know. So, yeah. Stay tuned for more announcements. Anyway, bye.